Um, so <laughs> I really don't know how to tell you all this, but let me just say it. Today we're going to talk about putting salmon sperm extract on your face. Yes, sis, you heard me right. <laughs> but before I forget my manners, hi guys, welcome back to Sherry Approved. And you know that. Um, for those of us who are so into Asian beauty and K-beauty and so on, like Sam, here my salmon, snail mucin has been be Like that has been the in thing. It still is. Snail mucin is a fabulous, fabulous ingredient. But I'm here to tell you that salmon sperm extract just might be the skincare secret. <laughs> to a more youthful complexion but i need you guys to stay with me here so first of all when it comes to ingredients and so on um salmon sperm extract is actually referred to as an ingredient called sodium dna so i will continue to refer to it as that so that it doesn't continue to freak you guys out but yeah essentially it is extracted from the salmon sperm and there's a whole chemical process that they use they go through to do that and i'm not going to bore you with all those details but that's exactly where it comes from. So it's not the actual sperm, but it is an extract from the sperm that they use. And this particular ingredient has been going through several studies over the last decade or so. And because of it, it has been showing up in um, more luxury spas and luxury treatments and being used by even celebrities. It has become very popular in Korean spas within the last five years. And But anyways, before we get into all that, let me just give you a little bit of a backstory as to how we got here, right? So just about two years ago, I came across an article that talked about salmon sperm extract for skin and it literally sent me down a rabbit hole as usual because you know that's going to trigger my interest. So I have been researching it ever since then so i started to read up all these studies that have been done and the research and all the journals and all of that and i i also researched products because of course if i found out that ingredient is really nice i want to find something to try it right of course um but i'll tell you guys a little bit about that like that whole trying to find stuff because yeah this ain't cheap right and of course the whole idea that's available in luxury spas and so on kind of gives you the idea that it is a little bit more on the pricey side and that could probably explain why it is not found in so many products it is there but not as widely available as something like that like you know for example snail mucin but let me just tell you a little bit about this ingredient and i'll tell you about my experience with it so um, one of the studies that I'll reference is actually found in the International Journal of Cosmetic Science and what they did is they put sodium DNA in a cream and they give it, fun fact, to men <laughs> to try for four weeks and they did this study and within four weeks the elasticity of the skin improved significantly in just four weeks but not only that they noticed that because of the application of this cream on the skin it actually prevented trans epithelial water loss and it increased the hydration content of the skin now that particular um thing that they noticed actually encouraged them to do a little bit more research into that and what they found is even applied topically on the skin sodium dna was actually encouraging the fibroblast in the dermis of the skin to actually produce more hyaluronic acid and that was an amazing discovery why because we apply hyaluronic acid on our skin why we do it because we know that hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient that attracts moisture to the skin and of course we all want hydrated skin right now our bodies naturally produce hyaluronic acid but what this particular ingredient sodium dna or salmon sperm extract does it's that it gives signal to these particular cells the fibroblasts which are the cells that are responsible for like the connective tissues and all of that to actually produce more hyaluronic acid. So instead of just applying hyaluronic acid topically, we actually encourage in our own bodies to produce more hyaluronic acid. So that was one of the amazing things that they found out. And that was in this particular study. More studies have been done since then. There have been studies done since 2010, 2016, as recent as 2018 that I could have found. And like I said, so it's really, really new in, in the whole skincare world. And it has found to have serious cell repair and cell regeneration abilities. In fact, they consider this ingredient to be a part of regenerative medicine in the whole world of skincare um, and, and aesthetics and so on by estheticians. But yeah, 
it has found to have amazing properties when it comes to that it also has been shown to help um alleviate acne and acne scarring but that one is a more long-term um result it actually has been shown to protect the skin from the harmful effects of uv rays and that one is actually really really interesting now this particular one was discovered when they actually did a study on a group of women between the ages of 31 to 70 and they chose women who actually had photo damage of the skin meaning that skin that has been showing uv damage and it actually had an effect on that as well so much so that the ingredients is actually now being studied to see if it's actually a sunscreen um, or some type of sun protection and that's like really really great news in fact i'm going to be paying attention because i definitely want to know what they this what they discover about it something else that is really really interesting is th is that if a lot of ingredients um uh, sometimes it could be injected into the skin and therefore that's really where a lot of the benefit comes from what has been noticed about sodium dna is that applied topically it has the ability to penetrate the skin and get into the deeper layers of the skin where it can actually do its work and do all that lovely um cell regeneration and repair now why is that so interesting it's because of course as we get older as we age our bodies don't repair itself we don't our cells don't regenerate as well as is used to when we were young so you know babies and little children their skin cells regenerate so much quicker the skin is firm and bouncy but as we get older because we're losing collagen because we're losing elastin in the skin for a whole number of reasons um our skin will start to age and that will show up in many different ways fine lines wrinkles loss of elasticity meaning that our skin may start to sag um we are not able to have we don't have that much more that as more you know that amount of hydration in the skin because for example there are some people who might be oily when they're younger and as they get older they notice that the skin is getting drier so there are a whole lot of different things that happen to our skin as the skin ages sodium dna has been showing to have an impact on all of that and in fact um in some cases helping to reverse or really really retreat treat and repair some of the damage or some of the effects of aging so um it has been like a really 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 interesting ingredient for um for study and so on so it has been like i said showing up in use in a lot of korean spas and treatments of course has been very very expensive in fact there is a particular one um where people go to have it injected in the skin and you they see results within a week it is highly sought after very very pricey as well and of course topical products will not work as fast as products that are injected but i'm glad that they were able to do a study that looked at the efficacy of the product being applied topically so that we know that we will actually also see results just applying it to the skin so i mean who doesn't want to have an even skin tone bring back brightness and radiance that may have been lost because you know the lackluster of the skin as we get older who doesn't want to treat wrinkles and fine lines and who doesn't even want some little extra sun protection because we all know the gold standard for preventing premature aging is spf spf and y'all i will not bend i will continue to preach the importance of spf it really doesn't matter get your children on it from as young as possible so yeah i mean who doesn't want all those benefits and you can get all of this in this particular ingredient so like i was telling you because i found out all of this uh, you all know that got me excited and your girl has been researching to try to find products so the cheapest product that i found on the market the cheapest eh? because there are some available was 125 us and it was by peach and lily and they have something called their shang pre marine jewel capsules and i will include in a, a photo but when this was launched this is just to tell you that the buzz has been real when it comes to this ingredient the product sold out so quickly when it launched people were tweeting all over the place asking for the product to be restocked and so on and of course i can't remember if it's like about a year or just over a year that she launched this product and for those of you who don't know peach and lily um the owner or the founder of that brand um who has very very sensitive skin and so on she actually created this whole line of products um her whole brand and she has a really really good philosophy when it comes to skincare and ingredients and so on some really interesting things so you can definitely check that out but she had this particular um this product and 
that was still really really expensive right i didn't really want to put all the money to try it one day i would love to um but yeah it was 125 dollars so i'm like oh my goodness am i not going to be able to try this ingredient to tell the people so of course i continued my research and then about 10 to 11 months ago i discovered this brand called doft and doft and they have a line of products called the salmon vegene hydro active line and they have four products in the line and i was so excited when i found it but before i show you the products um let me just tell you a little bit about what's found in these products right so um, I have it written down there so that I wouldn't forget. I don't want to leave anything else, anything out. So beside the salmon egg extract and the sodium DNA, which is to help the elasticity and the cell regeneration and cell repair and all of those things, lovely things, it also contains amino acids to also boost collagen production in the skin. It also contains green tea, which is an, which is an antioxidant. They also have fermented ingredients, which we know not only helps the 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 skin to absorb or uh, allow ingredients to penetrate but it's also another great antioxidant full of minerals and vitamins and so on for the skin it also contains a niacinamide and you all know that niacinamide is probably one of the biggest ingredients in skincare everywhere not just in asian beauty but also now in the western world and it also contains an ingredient called adenosine or adenosine i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing correctly but if you are really into asian beauty you would see that ingredient in quite a few different products because of its ability to help especially with skin texture and fine lines and so on so this entire line these ingredients go across all the products they may just be probably in different varying amounts i am not sure i didn't go into all of that but i know these ingredients are found in all the products and um i actually started with their cream but I'll show you just in a little bit, um, a little while. But one of the things that this ingredient, this particular line boasts is zero skin irritation. And I wanted to mention that because one of the studies done on sodium DNA actually showed, actually, they were actually surprised of its ability to encourage things like cell turnover and, you know, brighten the skin and even skin tone and all of that with no irritation compared to other similar ingredients or other ingredients that could probably give you similar results. And that was really, really interesting because it means that you could probably get all of these effects without creating extra irritation on your skin and of course you all know that is great news i will tell you however that this line does contain fragrance it is an amazing fragrance but just in case you are sensitive to that you might want to think about that and make your call but again they both no skin irritation so i don't know if the fragrance may cause any issues or not but yeah this particular line has also been tested by the Korean Dermatology Research Institute and has been clinically proven to create, you know, or have all these effects. I'm going to list it on the screen for you. And they also say that it contains the amount of sodium DNA that you will actually get in 25 of these injections. I don't know how true that one is, but I'm just letting you the information that has been provided. I could tell you, however, I have seen definitely those results in my skin over the last eight to ten months now three out of the four products i have been using for that long one of them i have just been using only for the past five weeks and i'll tell you which one um but yeah so the first i'll go in order in terms of how you'll actually use this in a skincare routine so the first thing is the hydroactive essence line um product and this of course is an essence essences will go after toners before serums and this is a really it's like somewhere in between, not completely watery, but you see there is some some running, but there is, it, it still has like slight gel texture. But one of the things that I love about this is, is how lightweight the products are. I can actually use this morning or evening in my skincare routine. And I mean, in, in any case, most of the times I actually will use it in my nighttime skincare routine because I use some other essences in the day. Um, but I have tried it in the daytime and it works perfectly fine with my other products. It also wears really, really well under makeup. It just smells so amazing. The smell of this whole line is like a light, floral, very luxurious scent. It's the best way I could describe it. I absolutely love it. It's nothing overpowering or anything. And it hasn't triggered any sensitivities for me at all. I really, really do like it. And I think a lot of you may also enjoy the smell. And I'm mentioning that as well because I remember talking to somebody about it. And the first question they asked me is like, Sherry, does it smell like fish? After all, salmon egg extract, right? Salmon sperm extract. But no, it does not smell like fish. There's nothing fishy about it at all. It smells actually 
amazing 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 um the next product in the line is the ampule and ampules are like concentrated really concentrated serums this particular one now, by the way, you'd notice that this one is red and this one is silver. The red is actually the newer version packaging, but it's the same product. They're actually now switching over to the red. So I actually have some in silver, some in red, but yeah. Um, the ampule, this ampule actually does not really come out so much like a serum, like a clear. It's not a clear um, product at all. It's actually very creamy. It's like a creamy gel, but again, very, very lightweight, absorbs really well into the skin. And I, I am able to use this with all my actives. I actually topped my retinol, my glycolic acid, my salicylic, my azelaic acid. I have topped all of them with this. Absolutely no interactions, no kind of irritations on the skin. It pairs really, really well. And I love that I can use this, the entire line actually with a lot of different ingredients, um, to be able to get into my skincare really really often third item in the line is the eye cream and this is actually what i have been using for the least amount of time so i've been using it for five weeks in fact i resubbed to ipsy just to get this because lord knows i have been haunting down hunting down this product for months it's been sold out in a lot of different places but i really really want to try it and when i saw a sneak peek that ipsy was featuring this i was like okay i am definitely resubbing to ipsy to get this and i'm so glad i did so um now each one of the products while the while the ingredients are across all of them each one of them is focused on a different thing so for example the essence is focused on boosting hydration the ampule is focused on improving skin density the eye cream is focused on preventing fine lines and then we'll talk about the cream shortly but the eye cream um i can't tell you about preventing fine lines but i will tell you this because i mean i've just been using it for five weeks um i absolutely love the texture of this and i'm not going to be wasting my product but you can see it is a, a nice cream it is not too lightweight and not too heavy it's like the perfect perfect sweet spot in between and i love that because sometimes you can find like an eye product might feel too heavy like i have a lot of people may ask me about certain creams and they may say oh my gosh am i able to wear that on a makeup yes you can with this one but does that mean that it's not going to be hydrating enough for nighttime no it isn't it is it is just the right texture it feels really lovely in fact under these under the eyes when i apply it feels almost like velvet so soft so so smooth and i have been in love with this since i've been using it now my eyes could be like pretty sensitive this has created no sensitivity to my eyes at all and in fact i think the eye cream is the only thing without like I am not sure, um, but I don't really smell the fragrance that I smell in the others in the eye cream. Um, so maybe it's there, but it's not as strong. I don't smell it at all, at all, at all in this. But I have been loving how my under eyes have been feeling with this particular product. And I look forward because I have been reaching for it really often. And if you all see how much eye creams I have, is a mess i have way too much and i keep finding myself reaching for this morning and nighttime morning and nighttime and that gives me an indication that i've been liking it compared to you know what i could definitely say about the other products and the final thing in the line is this and this is their salmon virgin hydroactive cream and it was this that literally started the ball rolling for me so this i've been using the longest in fact after using this for about two weeks i actually ordered the essence and the ampule because i was so in love with this and this i have completed two jars i just opened a third one i've actually been keeping this little little bit amount in this um jar just so that you all can see it but yeah again the texture of the creams the formulation the actual formulation it is so aesthetically pleasing it feels really really lovely on the skin no, remember this entire line can be used day and night. Nothing here is going to make your skin extra photosensitive or extra UV sensitive. Um, because remember, sodium DNA has been shown to give to give some UV protection. How much we don't know, but it has been shown to give some UV protection and also help with photo aging or photo damage, right? So yeah, um, this could actually be used in the daytime as well. I don't use any daytime, I use it as my night cream. Um, but it can be so maybe for somebody who's normal, um, um, even combination skin i could use in my oily skin it's just that i have some other like more gel type moisturizers that i actually use in the daytime it could just be all up in my mind really but yeah this has been my staple night cream for the past 10 months i have been rotating this with one other product which i will be reviewing for you all shortly like in an upcoming video or something but this has been my staple when you see me 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 sherry who have like a ton of skincare 
purchasing, repurchasing products, going through multiples of something, you better believe that I love that. That's making a difference in my skin and I am I am obsessed with the item and this is definitely one. Like the entire line, I can see them together really working synergistically. Um, the cream, I love, love, love the cream because it was the first thing that made me fall in love with the line. But I have really, really been enjoying the essence and the ampoule as well. And the thing about it is, right, like I have noticed that a lot of people have been DMing me, commenting, um, telling me especially that I have been glowing and all that and some people even hinting Sherry like are you pregnant and all that I'm not pregnant and I was saying like you know what maybe I should do a video on how to have the pregnancy glow without being pregnant and then I'm wondering but wait a minute is it the sodium DNA because the other products that I've been using even though I have been trying a lot of new I have tried a lot of new products a lot of them are ingredients that my skin has been accustomed to but sodium DNA has been the only new ingredient that has been brought into my skincare routine within the last year um but I can tell you number one I have definitely noticed the plumpness in my skin um the firmness in my skin one of the things with this line especially is that i try to bring it down on my neck because that is especially where we will actually show um signs of aging as well um because sometimes we leave our neck and the whole decollete out as well and this is one of the lines that you could definitely really want to focus it as well in those areas um I have definitely see more even skin tone, radiance in my skin. And I am looking forward to having this in my skin over a longer period of time. Um, because, yeah, we want to delay the signs of aging for as long as possible. And I will, I'm ending this video now, but I want to just say this. I'm not saying that applying something topically for your skin with regards to anti-aging products is going to magically make everything disappear because aging actually happens because of a lot of things. So if you're not sleeping properly, if your stress level is through the roof, if you're not eating properly and not exercising and not taking care of your body, you will actually accelerate your aging. But I can tell you, what you do for your skin topically will also make a big, big difference. And this has definitely been one of the things for me that is making me really, really, really consider spending that 125 US dollars to try that product from Peach and Lily. Will I take the jump? Like somebody alert me if you guys see a sale or a discount code or something because I really, really want to try it. But I mean, given the fact that... Um, this is not necessarily regular run-of-the-mill pricing that you will get like, you know, drugstore, skincare and so on. But one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about it is because before it was so hard to get, but Doft and Doft has been doing a lot of marketing now in the Western world, especially in the US. The products are actually now available on Amazon and I will include all the links down below of where you can get them um, on Amazon, on YesStyle, for example, because now it's easier to have access to. And I want like you all definitely, if this is your kind of thing, because I'm going to be 40 in a couple of years. Um, so yeah, I'm totally into this type of skincare. If this is your kind of thing, definitely try maybe one or two of the products. Let me know your feedback. Have any of you guys tried anything with sodium DNA or salmon, salmon sperm? extract i would be really 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 interested in hearing your thoughts hearing what you think about it and guys i will see you in another video bye